Welcome to Sweethearts or Rivals. I'm Charlotte. I'm Justin. What's on our table today? Kingsburg. Kingsburg is a game that plays two to five players. Yep. It will probably take about 90 minutes, and it's good for ages of 14 and up. Hmm. It's published by Fantasy Flight Games. Yep. And today we're going to be looking at Kingsburg as well as all of the modules in the expansion. Right. Yep. So this video here is going to be a playthrough slash overview because yes. we're going to explain uh, what we're doing as we go along. So. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Swap the cameras and we'll go. Yeah, we'll set her up. Ready. Let's see what's in the box here. These are the player boards. We're each going to get one of those. Just put them here for now. Yep. You'll need these rules just in case we have any questions. There we go. There's also a whole bunch of expansion boards. This is what the game board looks like. Nice. Okay. And then you've got all the bits and pieces. I'm going to play green. I'll be red. There you go. There. So what we're going to do, we're going to get a few of these things organized on the board and we'll be right back. That's right. All right, we're back. We are. So we've got it mostly set up. Mostly set up, but not quite all set up. So we've got a bunch of white dice up here, which can be used for a bunch of different things. So they just kind of stay up there. Uh, because we're playing a two-player game, we have three dice of a color that's not being used mm -hmm. and two more dice of a color that's not being used. And they're just going to be used at the beginning of each round to block a couple of spaces off because there's right. only two players. You're probably going to want one of these. Dice tray, yes indeed. Uh, then of course we got the three dice of our own color. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have a whole bunch of these little tokens. These are uh, going to uh, show what we have built on our individual player boards. Mm -hmm. um, we have the board set up with all of the plus two die markers, the wood, the gold, the stone. Mm -hmm. Up here on this track, this shows how much fighting power we've managed to get this year. Uh, this is the player order track, the point track, of course, because whoever has the most points wins. Yes. Uh, we're going to be playing the game over a course of five years. So there's the year marker, and each year there are eight different steps. And it is spring, summer, fall, winter, and then we move on to another year. And of course in the middle, these are all the different um, advisors, um, or just people, that you can influence in order to get stuff. From the kingdom. There we go. Right. The next thing we have to do is we have to take the number five deck and shuffle them. And then we have to randomly take one of those and we put it down like that and the rest are out of the game. And how many are there total? Because it's kind of replayable that way. There's yeah. five to choose from. Yeah. So if there are about five for every one, two, three, four, five, yeah. That's going to be quite a bit of variability yeah. in what's, what's going to come out at the end of every year. Yeah, and I can keep doing this if you want to go into yep. something else. And basically what we're doing here is at the end of every year, there's some kind of attack. And we're not sure what's going to attack us. We don't know exactly how powerful it's going to be, but every year has like a range. So like year three, the power is going to be four to six. And we're not sure what it's going to be. It could be goblins, barbarians, um, could be dragons or demons at a later year. They're quite There's powerful. Undead things. Undead, yeah. So that gets all set up. All right, so uh, the way the game works, Kingsburg, is uh, you go through a series of seasons. And uh, in between seasons, there's like the king helps certain things, the king um, rewards certain things. But the basic season goes is you roll your dice. And then we're going to take turns using those dice to influence advisors to get stuff. Um, so if I was to go first, I could put this out on the three. And then later on, I'm going to get a piece of wood. Now that space is blocked. Or I could put two dice together 
and I could influence the seven. And then hopefully the six doesn't get blocked by Sharla, and then it comes back to me and then I can use the six. Uh, once an advisor has been influenced, it's blocked, kind of worker placement style. Um, if you have dice left over that can't be used anymore, you're out of luck. Too bad, so sad. Yeah. For a two-player game, um, before we actually roll our dice, the first thing we do is this, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That means the ten is going to be blocked, and then we roll these two, six, seven, eight, and that means that's going to be blocked. If somehow we manage to roll both of these and it's the same thing as the ten, it means we split the two dice apart and influence those. Okay. So that oh. way there's some extra Just, spots that are blocked. Okay, but ten, it would only be two fives. Or a six and a four. All oh, right. Yeah. So if we did roll like a six and a four, then all three of those spots would be blocked and we would be out of luck. I'll get you now. Yeah. Yeah. I'll roll the yellow ones and you can roll the, the blue. The blue ones. Nice. Once you've influenced all the advisors, then you start at the one and you go all the way up and everyone gets their goods and their rewards and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then the last thing that happens is you are going to have an opportunity to build a single building. Right. And that's what these are. These are your buildings. Uh, you have to, in any row, you have to start at the one and build that before you can build the next level. Um, the costs are in here and the benefits are here and they're going to give you a whole bunch of special powers for you to influence the game right and instead of going over them all maybe we'll just try to hold one of them yep. really close up and then you can pause it there if you want to check out yep. um, what kind of costs what kind of special abilities and what kind of rewards they might give you yep also it's a good time to mention that this is the expanded uh, player board uh, the player boards that come in the base game are a little bit smaller. This one has some extra rows. Uh, and that's in the expansion, and the expansion is called To Forge a Realm. Um, you have a number of modules that can be added to the base game in any combination you want. So the first module is expanded player boards, and everyone has the same one. Uh, the second module is a bunch of alternative um, player boards. Sorry, I just got an email. <laughs> and then with these, you pass out a bunch and you choose two of them or none of them or one of them. And each of them has a letter that corresponds with one of these rows. So if I decide to choose this one, I can't put it wherever I want. If I choose this one, it has to cover up the C row. And then everyone's player boards are a little bit different. Right. Which is kind of cool. And how do they get distributed? I can't quite remember. Excellent question. So what you do is you take all of these and you fan them out randomly, face down, and then you take turns choosing one until everyone's got two. You have three. <laughs> and if then you we have, review them. Yeah, and if you have the same one. Um, oh, you can draw a different one. Yeah. I have a G and a B. I have a D and an E. So, we'll just maybe um, get to review these, and then we'll come back and we'll tell you what we picked. There you go. All right, we're back. We are. Yep. And I decided to keep one of them. Yep. I chose both of mine to keep, and you can choose one, two, or zero. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, the one that I actually ended up choosing was for the B row. Mm-hmm. So instead of a statue, I have a bridge. Instead of a chapel, I have an altar. Instead of a church, I have a monastery. And instead of a cathedral, I have a basilica. Cool. That's okay. a good one. I've had that one before. Lots of points. It's all about the points, yeah. And the basilica is indestructible. Right. Which is pretty awesome. If I can build it. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Um, I replaced my D row and my E row. So um, instead of a guard tower, I have a lookout tower. I have an armory instead of a blacksmith troop quarters instead of barracks and an alchemist guild instead of a wizard's guild so it gives me some cool fighting powers um, instead of a palisade I have a small palisade um, it was just cheaper uh, instead of a stable I have a griffin ranch I had that one before instead of a stone wall I have a wall with catapults and instead of a fortress I have a manor so I liked the changes to those those are mm -hmm. both good yeah. so that's uh, that's, that's that module a, done another module the next module is 
Um, at the end of every year, before you reveal what monsters come out, uh, somebody rolls this. And this is how much fighting power the king has sent to everyone. So everyone increases their fighting power by three. The next module takes that completely out. And instead what you have is you have one, two, three, four, five, six discs. And on the back are one, four, one, zero, three, and two. So before that card gets revealed at the end of the year, um, you have to choose which one of these discs you're going to secretly throw in to boost your power. Um, and then the card gets revealed, we see what kind of monster we have to fight, and then everyone reveals their discs and see if we beat it or not. At the very end of the game, there's going to be one disc left over, and that disc will give you however many points are on it. So if you can keep the four to the very end, that's four bonus points. Right. Yeah. So it takes that randomness out and gives you a little bit more strategy. Right. So that is three of the modules. The last two modules are these two decks of cards here. So the next module in the expansion are the governor cards. And what happens at the beginning of the game, you deal three governor cards to every player, and they choose one, and it gives you kind of like your random starting boost, boost yeah. which is interesting. Uh, there are some blank ones, so you can make up your own, and we accidentally shuffled them in there. So if we accidentally get one of those, we'll just have to... I'll take one off the top yes. if I get one. There you go. So we get three each. Okay. And we get to choose one. Yes. Mine are all there. blank. <laughs> oh, Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we have to do reading, so we'll cut back yep. once we picked one. All right. What do you got? I have a politician. Oh, In lovely. every productive <laughs> season, you may play your influence dice on this card, too, so I can put a five for a good of my choice and two of those tokens. Or two of those tokens. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's still good, though. Yep. But if I have a ten, it's a good of my choice, one of those, and a point. Nice. That's cool. It seemed good. So anyway, That's I'm gonna, good start. I'll put this like this. Okay. So I can put him here. Hopefully yep. I'll remember to use him. Uh, I have the heiress. Before starting the game, place two gold, one wood, one stone, and two of the plus two tokens on this card. At the start of every productive season, if at least one of my colored dice shows a one, I get to take a single good off the card. Wow. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And if I get all of the goods off the card and I still have a one at the beginning of a season, I get a point. So two gold... <laughs> One wood, one stone. And a plus two. And two plus twos. Wow. She seems more powerful than the politician. Well, the politician gives you an extra space that only you have access uh, to. If fives or tens are blocked. That, yeah. is, that is pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. Good. And the fifth and final module in the expansion are the Destiny cards, which is an event deck. So at the beginning of the year, before you start the first phase, uh, you flip this over, read what it says. That event affects everyone for the entire year. Right. And I think we've already shuffled these, so they're all good to go. Right. Those are all of the modules of the expansion. So we are playing a game of Kingsburg with all five of the modules in the game. Right. All right. And we're not really going to go through that. It's just the first time we start, yeah. we'll explain what we're doing. Absolutely. And... Are we ready to begin? I think so. Are ready to begin? I think, though, there's a lot of dead space up there. Let's put that pretty cover up there. Okay, there you go. Thanks. Better. Dead space covered. Hmm. Moving on. So the first thing we do, um, a, because we're using the Destiny deck, is we flip over the first Destinary card. Destinary card. Destinary. Destination. <laughs> Destiny. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> You're inventing words like that other guy does. I'm an English teacher. I'm allowed. <laughs> Military Parade. At the end of Autumn, the player or players with the most um, combat gain a point. Hmm. Nice. Dislike. That's cool. Okay. So the very first thing we do is we're going to roll... Nope. What? First thing we do is phase one. Oh. Phase one is we look at who has the least amount of buildings. It's like I never played. We're tied. <laughs> um, then you look at who has the um, least amount of goods. We're tied. Which means we both get a good of our choice. I will take a stone. Okay. I'm going to take a piece of wood. Good. Then we move on to phase two. 
phase two is the beginning of spring. So the first now thing we do we is roll. roll these. Four, five, six, seven. Seven is out. There you go. Now we roll our dice. So I have a one, a four, and a five. I have a five, a four, and a two. Hmm. 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 Oh, right. We don't know who's going first. So the first thing we do is we add up our dice total. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ten. Ten. All right, which means you become first player and I'm second player. Okay. It goes from whoever has the lowest all the way down to the highest. And you're just going to take that, just like that, just done. Interesting. So yeah. that means I could, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, can't get eleven. Five, six, seven, eight, I could get the nine and a two. Or I could just put the two, the four, and the five out. Yeah, let's do that. Two, four, five. Okay. Done. So now we resolve our dice. Yep. So this one comes off and get a piece of gold, please. This one comes off and I will take another piece of gold, please. This one comes off and I'm going to go up one on the defense track. This comes off. Yep. And I get two defense and I get to peek at the monster. Nice. Oh, look away. So what this is going to tell me is how much um, power he has. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to show the card. And then it's going to show if you what's going to happen if you fail yeah. in your power and what's going to happen if you succeed in your power. Interesting. And then it's going to tell you what kind of monster it is. So I'm just going to put that back. Okay. Mm -hmm. And All right. this comes off. Good enough. So that's the end of the season. Now we have the opportunity to build a single building. I will build a building. I I'm going to well. use stone and I'm going to build improvised defenses. So plus one battle against enemies with a strength five or lower. Nice. Uh, I build a small palisade. I get plus one in battle as long as I have at least one defense. That's a good one. I get no points. You get no points. No points. Good enough. Now we roll them. Nope. I now always to want to roll three. my dice. <laughs> so in phase three, uh, we look at who has the most buildings. Whoever has the most buildings gets a point. If there's a tie, everyone gets a point. Yay, a point well, for me. Everyone who tied. Uh, then we move on to phase four, which is summer. Um, we roll our dice. Finally. Blue first. Oh, right. Blue. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, now we roll our dice. I have 11. I have nine, so I become first player. And I rolled a one on one of my dice. I shall take a stone. And when does that replenish? It doesn't. Oh, that's just for the whole game. Yes, but if I get all of them off of there and I roll a one, mm -hmm. I get a point. Yeah, no, it doesn't replenish. That would be crazy. Oh, okay. I yeah. thought it did. That's why I was like, that's overpowered. Nope. Okay. I okay. misunderstood. All right. And you get to place first. Yes, I do. Six, seven, eight, nine. I could get nine. I could get a stone and a wood or a gold and a wood. I don't particularly like that. Six, seven, eight. I could get two gold and a point. Six. What six give me? Six allows me to change stuff. And a three would give me a wood. Hmm. That's all sorts of trickiness that I don't particularly like. So I think I am going to... I'm going to do that and get two gold. I'll do that and then I'll do that. Okay. Okay. So I pull this guy off and I get a point. Those go off. These come off. Pull those two off and get two gold. And I get to choose either stone and gold or stone and wood. And I'm going to take the gold and the stone. Nice. Good. Now we have the opportunity to build another building. I must build. Me as well. A guard tower. It's very important. Plus one in battle. Uh, I build a lookout tower, which gives me no points. You didn't get... Oh, you got oh, one Oh, I got a point. Nice. Sorry. 
Lookout Tower gives me plus one in battle, and at the start of year four and five, I get to look at the monsters. Oh! You are sneaky. <laughs> Alright. Now we're in phase five. Phase five. Whoever has the least number of buildings is going to gain the advisor. Um, if there's a tie, it's whoever has the least number of goods. I have three. Zero. Zero, which means it is you. Remind me again exactly how I can use them. I remember some, but... Okay, so you have to use them before we get to phase five of the following year. Mm -hmm. uh, you only get to use them once, mm -hmm. and you can use them for one of two things. Okay. You can use him to... A, influence an advisor that somebody has already influenced or you can use them to build two buildings in the same Instead season because you can o normally only build once yeah yeah that's it okay now we're on to number six we can roll them roll them six ten. Ten is whoops ten is blocked ouch i have eight I have 13, so you are going to go first. So let me see here. Hmm, nice. In order to kill the monster, you have to be as many as him or over his power? Um, if you are below his power, you lose and there's a penalty. If you are above his power, you win and there's a bonus. If you're dead even, neither. You don't win or lose. Okay. Um, that's a tricky one. How about, what do you have over there? Because I have to be a little... I've got a 13 total. What would he get for 13? He'd get three, three stone. stone. Or he could do eight, or he could do nine, mm -hmm. or he could do... Five or four if he does one of those two. All sorts of crazy stuff. I'm thinking I'm just thinking I'm gonna hope for the best and see what you do. So I didn't get blocked, so that's nope. nice. Stone is actually really difficult to get, so I figured I have the opportunity for three. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we start with you, you get a piece of wood. Mm-hmm. Then you get uh, plus one on the combat track. Yeah. These go away. And then I get three of the stone, please. There you go. Thank you. Then we have the opportunity to build one more thing. I cannot build. I am going to build with one stone. I'm going to build the improvised defenses to get plus one battle against enemies with a strength five or lower and no points. So I've got one, two, three, I've got plus three, plus one. So the maximum it can be is four. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm good. Okay. I'm happy. So now uh, we go to phase seven. Yep. Phase seven is interesting. At this point, you can trade in two goods to get plus one battle up on the track if you want to trade in those goods. Well, I cannot because I have one good. Yeah, which is expensive. Now, this should actually be right here. So you just slide it over, which would be easy because technically you're supposed to do that. Oh, no, you Which I think them. is silly. You just damaged all the monsters. Oh, no! So now what we do is, before the card is revealed, and you know what it is... Yes, I must count how much defense I have. Okay. I'm ready. Interesting. And now we have the tokens. We have one zero, two ones, a two, three, and a four. We have to choose one. I'm good. I'm good. So now we flip the card. Zombies! Oh no! Level four zombies! So, uh, power four, so we need a five to win. And I have a three. Yep. Four, five. And I was going to go zero, but then I noticed that you made sure you got that extra one, so I thought, oh, it's probably got to be power four. <laughs> so I used the one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we both win, which means we both get a point. Nice. And these are out of the game. And the zombies are out of the game. This is correct. The zombies have been repelled. And another reason I got some defense was uh, oh, yeah. the military player parade. with the most gains a point. So that would be you, because they keep throwing. It only counts that one. Yes. <clears throat> okay. So 
Nice military parade for you. Thanks. It was it was fun. Go to year two. Yep. And then starts and then nice. our defense gets erased. Yes. Defense goes right down. And we start off with more of the destiny deck. The destination deck. The enduring situation. Apply the same effect as the destiny card drawn last year. <laughs> this card is drawn yeah, blah, blah, blah. So uh, we're gonna have another military parade at this the end of this year. A very militarized game here. Oh my, I should have turned that off. <laughs> <laughs> it's magical. Magical. Okay. All right. Whoever has the least number of buildings, which would be you, Yay. gets an extra die from the king as help. To roll with my red ones. Yep. But you only get it for this season. Oh, I'm rolling it for that season, so that's handy. Then we go here, and I'm going to roll blue. Oh, I knocked these off. Eight. Six. Okay. Then we roll our dice. Oh. Ooh, I rolled a one. I shall take a piece of stone. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got ten. I have twelve plus nine. Yeah. So that's like twenty-one. Wow. That's crazy. It is nuts. And you have to spend the exact amount, so I can't spend my 21 to get the 18. No. But you could get 17 and then have a 4 left over if you wanted to influence the queen. Right. Well, you worry about your stuff. You're the one who has to place first. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I got 10. Ooh, but I still have to look at your stuff to see what you're going to do, because if you oh. go for the queen, that leaves you with a 4 left over, and maybe I want to block that. No, I don't want to do that because then that leaves me with a six left over and you can't do anything with six, so that doesn't work. Hmm. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got a ten. Two combat and I get to look at the monster. Yeah, let's do that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do a ten. I did ten. Really? Yep. Well, then I feel like I really should go for the queen because... It's the best one. Yeah. I get three points, and I get two goods of my choice. I can look at that monster. And the best part of that is the three points. Three points. That helps a lot. Yeah. Because it's all about the points in the end. Yeah. So. So we pull this off. Right. And, and I'm going to yeah. take, let's see here. What do I need to build? I need to build stuff that are good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take... A piece of wood. Well, you said stone's hard to get. Maybe I should just take stone. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to get two goods of my choice for 17 mm -hmm. anyway. This comes off. These come off. Yep. And then I'm going to go two on the battle. And I give up my white. Yep. Where'd my red one go? Oh, it's over there. There you go. So you get three points. Yes. One, two, three. Two goods of my choice. And I'll look at the monster first. Is this what I wanted? Yeah, it is. Nice. And then you can look at it. Yeah. Might as well just flip it over now, yeah. Now we both know what it is. Yep. Well, I mean, it's kind of cheating to leave it there. Meh. <laughs> He's five. He's five. Awesome. Cool. That's all I really need to know. He's five. Yep. All right. So, now we have the opportunity to build... Um, I am going to build one gold and two stone. And I will build my Griffin Ranch. Which gives me two points. I'm actually going to build my blacksmith. So it's a gold and two wood. And it gives me plus one in battle and two points. Two points. Nice. Now what do we do? Move on to the next phase. Whoever, Whoever has, has the most buildings, me, gets a point. Wow. That's scary. Because you didn't build one time. I know. I couldn't have had no goods. <laughs> now okay. what? We move over here. So I'm going to roll for blue. Nine, nine. Three, four, five, six, seven. Man, I always roll those really badly. Four, four is eight, nine, ten. I got a ten. I have twelve. Okay. So I'm first. Mm hmm. Hmm. Start up every if your total is nine or less. No, it's not, so that didn't help me. What am I trying to do? Hmm. 
is right. I don't, I don't know what to choose. That. Oh, I'm going to take a six. Well, I'm thinking I just take in 12 because I can get two goods of my choice and one of those extra dice tokens. There we go. I don't know what goods I want, though, but mm -hmm. you get to pull your thing off first. So that's going to give me a gold, which I'm then just going to change into a wooden stone. And then these come off, and I'm going to get one of these and two goods of my choice. What am I going to build? And the trick with this game is you kind of have to focus on just yeah. a few rows. Yeah, you can't <clears> spend <throat> a whole lot of time on like this little pilly ones. You should like yeah. really go for, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm still thinking I'm going to take a gold and a stone, or gold and a wood, even though my advice is going to look like it's... Okay. Oh dear, I, I forgot to use my advisor. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I couldn't, there was nothing blocked for me. Yeah. And I could never build two buildings. So yeah. anyway. Okay. He got wasted. So now we build uh, two wood and a stone. I am going to, what did I choose? Oh, right. I'm going to build the inn so that at the end of summer each year, I receive a thing. So where's oh, summer? Right now. So you get one. I'm going to put that there so I remember to take one after each of summer. Okay. Okay. Um, and the inn doesn't give you any points. Uh, I build the armory, which gives me plus two in battle, unless it's zombies or demons, which is zero. And I got a point. Okay. okay. And about these um, tokens, you can hold as many as you want. Yep. But you can only use one to influence your dice. Per season. Per, yeah. Yep. Right? Yep. Okay. And they just add exactly two to the total of dice, so... If you had a 12, you could add it so it could become a 14. Right, but yeah. not an 11. Correct. Right. Right on. Move so, it? So, yep. Whoever has the least amount of buildings, which I believe is you. Oh, I get them again. Yes, you do. That's it. Move to the next season. We are in fall. Eight again. Oh. Nine. Uh, Fifteen. Fourteen. What did you get? Fifteen. <laughs> All right, so I'm going first. Uh, 14, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14. 14 would make me lose a point and get three resources of my choice. Um, hmm. I can't get an 8, so I might as well just take the 14 because there's nothing else I can do. Oh, I just want 15 because I can get one of each. There you go. So those come off. We come off. We can come off. I lose a point. I get three resources of my choice. And I'm just taking mine even though you haven't finished yours yet. It's not like we're going to run out of resources. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to take two stone. And what else? Two stone and a wood. And now we can build? And now we can build. I am putting my advisor to work, giving him hammer and nails, and he is going to build me a recruiting center while I build myself a bridge. Wow. Two stone for the bridge and four points. One, two, three, four. And a gold and a wood for the recruiting center for one point. 14. Now, the bridge doesn't give me any special abilities, but the recruiting center does. During phase seven, I may spend these tokens as if they were goods. Awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm spending two gold and a stone, and I'm going to build a wall with catapults, mm -hmm. which gives me two points. Because you know what I forgot to do? What? Get defense. Yeah. And it's at five. Um, it's going to give me plus one in battle if I pay one stone. In battle, I win draws. Nice. Like game win loser draw from like when we were kids? Yeah. Okay. All right. So that is the end of that phase. We go to this phase. Do you want to spend anything in order to get battle? Well, I only have three. 
And it was a five, wasn't it? So I need to make up two. If I spend two, I only get one. Yep. Yes, I will spend them. So I go one on the duplicate track. Okay. There we go. And now we go into the battle phase. Yep. So we got to choose which token we want to use. Three. Okay. We reveal the card. That is a big surprise. It's a barbarian. He's five. I got zero. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really? Yeah. That's not ton. I have one, two, three, four, five. I five. just don't have okay. anything from it. So you would lose a point and then those, but you don't, so you don't get anything, and I get a piece of gold. Ha ha! Five barbarians. And then at the end of autumn... You get a point. I get a point, which we already passed autumn, but I was supposed to do that at autumn. Okay. We go the right there, and we go to year three, and we check the destiny deck. Good year. In every productive season, each player without white dice gains one white die. Other players receive one good of their choice. Nice. In every season? Uh, in every productive season, yes. Anyone without white dice. There's an inn somewhere. Or no, it's the farms. The farms give you oh, a white die. okay. Yeah. So now, whoever has the least amount of buildings, one, two, three, four, five, six... Two, three, four, five, six. Whoever has the least amount of goods, I've got three. I have none. Gets a white die. That's nice. That's really. <laughs> but you get a white dice now. Um, in every productive season, yeah, each player without white die gets a white die. And anyone else without wh with white die gets a good of their choice. Oh. Yeah, which is pretty awesome. Ooh. Yeah. That's nice. Well, you keep always saying stone's hard to get. I'm there taking a stone. Okay, so now we roll blue. Yellow. Four, five, six, seven. There we go. Oh my goodness. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seventeen. So I'm going to go first. Because one of my colored die has a one, I get a good of my choice. I'll take a piece of gold. And because I rolled a nine or less... Because of I, something you built? Oops. Yeah. Uh, my griffin ranch. My dice right. total is nine or less. Yeah. I gain one strength. There you go. And I get to go first. Mm -hmm. So I've got six, seven, eight. Eight would give me two gold. Do I want two gold? Hmm. Not particularly, though. I'm just going to take a four. Oh, Sorry, just kidding. You go. I'll go see the queen. <laughs> and then I'll get a piece of wood and I'll get a point. Okay. Now we resolve. So, take that, get a point. Take that, get a piece of wood. Wood or stone. Take that okay. and take a piece of gold, please. This comes back. Those come back. This comes back. I get three points, please. One, two, three for seeing the queen. And I'm going to take, um, I don't know if I should take two gold or a gold and a wood. What are my odds of getting a gold and a wood? It's tricky. It's really tricky. Because I need two of each is my problem. I mm -hmm. took, I touched those two. I'm going to go with my gut. Okay. Oh, I'm forgetting about that. I've yeah. got to put it closer where I can see it. And you get to take a look at the creature. Oh, the monster. The... Yep. Let's see. I should look over here. He's not. No comment. No comment. Okay. Now we can build. Oh, we can build. I'm building big. Three gold, one stone, and one wood. And I get to build my manor for five points. One, two, three, four, five. When I win a battle, I gain twice the awards listed on the enemy card. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, yes. I actually, the things I want to build, I don't have the resources for. So I have to decline building. 
Okie doke. So we move over here. Whoever has the most buildings gets a point. Huzzah! Then we go here. And we both get a white die. Oh, I still have one. Yep. I was supposed to give it back up. This was on 10. Okay, let me roll. Ooh, there we go. 14. 17. All right, and you get to go first. Let's see here, 10 is blocked, seven is not. Four, nope, I can't do 10. Five is defense, I need defense. That's where this game is so tricky. Hmm. And we're almost to the soldier spot. Well, I'm just doing the 14. I'm gonna have to lose a point and get three goods. And I'll do 17 and go see the queen. So, oh, okay. Yellow comes off, blue comes off. I lose a point. Lose a point. Oh, and we are even. <laughs> we are. <laughs> I thought you were running away with it there for a minute. Nope. Mine's autumn. Autumn is right there. Thank goodness. Okay, yeah, I'm going to get a wood for sure. That's one of my three. Mm -hmm. I can have two more. Because that's going to be for that. That will be left over. I can have two more. I'll take a wood and a gold. Okay. So, I get three points. One, two, three. I get to take a look at the monster. <laughs> that sucks. How come? Well, because my armory doesn't help against zombies. Oh, that's that's a sad one. Yeah, that's not for good the at record all. books. Yeah. Okay. So. So it's at the end of this, so I get one of those. Yep. Yeah. And now I got to get two goods of my choice, and I've got to figure out what I'm going to get because everything was perfectly fine, and now I'm two points short for battle. Hmm. Ah, I'm going to get a wood and a stone. Or a gold and a stone, sorry. Alright. Um, then we build. I am building a training camp. Uh, so, all right. at the end of autumn, if, I don't ha if you have less than two defense, receive one defense. Nice. And you get a point? Mm hmm. Uh, two I built, points, sorry. Oh, sorry, two points? Yeah. I built the inn, which gives me no points, but now that it's the end of the summer, I get one of these. Huzzah. I don't think I need to put a reminder there. No I will forget. <laughs> All right, then we go over here, and now it is whoever has the least number of buildings, which I, I believe seven. is you. I got eight. Okay. Okay. And then we go into autumn. Five. And we still get to keep our white dice, right? Yep. Sixteen. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I got twelve, so I'm gonna go first, and I rolled a one on one of my colored dice, so I will take one of these pieces of gold. You're gonna go first. I need. What should I be building here is what I need to know. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I have a nine and a three and a four. Nice. So you get a piece of wood? Yes. Then you get a piece of wood or a piece of gold. Um, let's see. I think I'm gonna get a gold. 
And then I'm going to get a wood and a gold. Nice. I'll take these back. I lose my plus two token. Oops. And then I lose a point to get three of whatever I want, and it's going to be three wood. And now we build. Yep. So. I'm going to build a barracks for two gold, two wood, and a stone. Nice. How many points do you get? Uh, that gives me four, and now I can pay only one good per soldier in phase seven. Nice. Uh, I built a troop quarters, which gives me three points. One, two, three. And at the end of winter, if I've won the battle and I had the highest total combat value, I get to keep one of these for, for the next the year. Next. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a sneaky one. Yeah, it's kind of cool. All and right. Now, now we go here where. Wait, 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 wait. I have at the end of autumn, if you have less than two, receive one. Oh, nice. So I'm going to put a reminder here at the end of autumn as well. There you go. Now we can move. There we go. Uh, give up two goods, or for in your case, one. I'll give up two, actually. Okay. So you went here. Yes. Good, good. And. Um, just let me check something real quick before we reveal. I'm at one. Did I look at it this round? You did. I don't remember what it was. Was it scary? Yeah, it was. Really? Yeah, because remember it, it minus two from my total. How could I forget so quickly? One, two, three. Oh, that only counts if he's strength five or lower. Yeah, I've missed that too myself, actually. One, two. How could I have. I didn't look at him. I'm, did I? I went to the queen. At some point, you looked at him, yes. Well, I don't remember. <laughs> he could have six, for all I know. One, two. I think that's all I have. On my board. All right, so I am going to. Whoops. Well, that's five that I have. It can only be six. Ready. Ready. Well, flip over the card. Oh. <laughs> He's uh, six zombies. Yep. So. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and I win ties. Right. And I have one, two, plus three is five, plus one is six, so I just don't get a reward. Okay. So, I get two points because I get double rewards, and you don't gain or lose anything. So he's done with. And then these are gone, and this is gone. We were in this phase. And it was... If you won the battle and had the highest combat value, but I didn't have the highest combat value because we were tied, so I don't get to keep it. Okay. So All right. now on to phase four. Yep. Now, at the start of year four, I get to look at the monster. Where did it say that? Because I have a lookout tower. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. All right, uh, then we have the Destiny deck, which was blank. <laughs> <laughs> the king is sick. The king cannot be influenced. <laughs> wow. If in a previous year the king was sick already, he dies and the game immediately ends. <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> gracious. <laughs> That's hilarious. The king is dead. Well, the game is now we'll over. Just cover him up. Yeah. He just can't. Or just put the card on there, actually. There you go. Yeah, the king is sick and cannot be influenced. The queen still accepts the visitors. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so whoever has the least number of buildings gets a white die, which I still believe is you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got nine. Okay. So I'm going to roll blue. Nine. Fourteen is covered up. Okay. So we're going to roll these. I have fourteen. 
Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got a ten. One of them is a one, so I'm going to get one of these tokens. And what do you have? Fourteen. Okay, so I'm going first. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten gives me two combat, and I get to look at the deck again. I'm not going to do that. What do I have here? Okay, yeah, I don't need to do that. So how can I split this up? Six, seven, eight, nine. I can no, can't use a nine because that's covered. Darn it. <laughs> seven. I can do seven and a three, I guess. Seven. I really feel like I need to get some combat before I forget. Hmm. So I guess I'm gonna go ten. Okay. And then I've got a three. Then I can either do a four. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't really look at that. I can either do a four and get a gold or a wood, or I can do a two and just get gold, and then my two is blocked. Yeah. But I do have him, so I could... Can I use it where I'm blocking him, or just opponents? That is an excellent question. Influence an advisor that has already been influenced by yourself, or another player. So yeah, you could put the two, and then, yeah, absolutely. And then you get two gold. Nice. Well, it's better than just getting one gold or one wood, so yeah, absolutely. I get two gold. So, so, to resolve, I get two gold. There you go. And, and he goes back to his hut. Yep. I get a piece of wood. Yes. There you go. You get a doofleky. And then I get one of my choice, and I'm going to look at some stuff while you get your stuff. Okay, so this comes back off. I get two defense. One, two, and I get to look at the scary monster. The big bad. Now I will remember that. And my dice come off. Still can't build anything I want. So for my one good, it's going to be a piece of stone. Okay. And those come off. And now we get to build? I cannot build. I cannot build either. So now whoever has the most buildings is going to get one point. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To you again. Point. And we're on to rolling more dice. Yep. I probably Blue. have to give this back now. Yep. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have 15. I have 10. I'm always still like, oh, it's just, you know, if you get 9 or less, and I'm just above 9, but still not enough to, like, get really high numbers, mm. which is a pain. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 will give me that. I don't need that. I'm going to take a 5. I'm just going to take it all at 15. Okay. That gives me a 3 and a 2. All right, so two gives me a gold. Yep, and three gives you a wood. Thank you. And five gives you a defense. And I get one of each. Nice. All right. Um, we both get one of those. And we can build. I can't build anything. Neither can I yet. Okay, so we go here. You get that because you have the least number of buildings. And then it's autumn. Is it the end of autumn that you get that? Whatever that bonus is. At the is? end of autumn, yep. If okay. I have less than two defense, which I don't have two. Okay. Six, 12, 13, 14. 14 be blocked. All right. Don't even get what I want. 10, and I get one of these. Oh, that's... Oh. Okay, I have nine. What do you have? Um, I've got ten, which means you are going Thank first. Thank goodness. Okay. So, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, let's do that. I'll do that for eleven, and then one for a point. So, first I get a point. Mm-hmm. And then I get stone and wood are my choices. Okay. And what I choose, I mean. I choose stone and wood. 
And then I get gold and stone. And I can finally build. Me too. What are you building? I'm building my wizard's guild. Nice. So my wizard guild is going to give me plus two in battle and six of those smurfy points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Erg. And I get to put a disc on here. I am going to build my alchemist's guild, which is much better than your wizard's guild. Gives me five points. Whatever. Erg. One, two, three, four, five. And... Why is it so much better? I get plus one in battle, and if I pay gold, it becomes plus three. Oh, looky, 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 who doesn't have any gold over there. It's true, but that's okay. It's still awesome. I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> that's okay. I don't need it. Whatever. All right, so that's the end of autumn. Mm -hmm. So if you want to give up two goods, or in your case, one, or those tokens, you can get bonus to your you know combat what? ability. I am going to... Save it till my next turn. Okay. Now I'm just figuring out. Okay, so we're going to winter. Mm hmm. So then we got to choose which of our armies we're going to use. Oh, right. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Reveal? Reveal the cod. It's a monster. It is. It's goblins. It's goblins level five. five. So, so what do you got total? Have four and two is six and two is eight. Eight. Wow. Um, I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're tied again. Yep. So um, I don't get to keep my bonus, which is a bummer, but I do get two wood. But I also get to keep a wood, right? Yes, you do. Yep. That's Kay. nice. Those are out. Bye, stupid goblins. Goblins are out. Oh, we didn't move that to eight, but it's okay. Yeah. We knew. That really should have been on the other side. Yeah. And now we're in the last round. So the first thing happens at the beginning of the season, in round five, because I have a lookout tower, is I get to look at the monster. <laughs> and the king's no longer sick. Oh, good. Unless we get another one and another he just dies. Another sick king and he's dead. Okie doke. Interesting. Let's look at the Destiny deck, and the king is dead! No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> oh, you're so funny. <laughs> Flood. At the end of Autumn, players may pay up to two stone each. If a player pays one stone... I forgot to put that back there, I think. No, oh, that's okay. Or no, I had the least buildings. Yeah. If a player pays one stone, he loses two points. If a player doesn't pay any stone, one of his buildings is destroyed as if destroyed in battle. So, wow. We need two stone need for to nothing to happen. Yeah, <clears throat> two stone at the end of autumn. Lose two points if you only got one. If you don't lose use any, it's, um, it's gonna be the one that is the strongest. Yeah, and then you lose your points. Yeah. And it's usually the one that's on top. Like for me, it would be my alchemist guild. Yeah. So, by the end of autumn, I need two stone. That is uncool. That is horrible. I dislike that immensely. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, nine, ten. Yep. So, you get the die. We are in summer. Rolling blue. And eight is covered. Rolling blue. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve. Now, I have a one, and there's nothing on there, which gives me a point. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Because of my heiress. Mm -hmm. And you got a twelve? Yes. Which means I am going first. Now, I've got one stone. I definitely don't want to be losing stuff, which means I should probably be trying to get myself another stone. But what else could I possibly build? Indeed. What do I have here? I said I had 12, right? Yep. And I got 10. That would be...
There's a five. I have, let's see how I can, that's seven, eight, nine, thirteen. Now your one, the one that's not your color, mm -hmm. can't be placed by itself. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Well, Which I don't think I've mentioned for, sorry. No, and I probably was supposed to remember that from the last time we played and I forgot. Yeah. So that's not good then. So that's 9, 11. What do you got over there? 7. A 6 and a 1. 6 and a 1. So I guess I might have to do this. That'll be 9, 10, 11. Okay. I'll take a six Three. and a one. So I pull this off and I get a point. A point for Justin. Thank you. And then you pull that off and get a wood. A wood. And there's that. I'll put that there. And then this goes over there and I take that and I get one on the combat track. Oh, and then I take this back and I take get rid of a piece of wood and get a stone and a gold. Mm-hmm. These come back. These come back. And I get to choose, and it's going to have to be a gold and a stone, I guess. And that goes back there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Now, before I build, I just want to check something. I've got my two stone, which is nice. So, uh, building. Right. Um, I can't build anything. I can, I can, I don't want to. I can, but I'm scared of that stone thing. So I'm going to see if I can get more stone before I build something. Good so enough. So now we're going to move on. You Whoever has the point, most. I'm sure. Huzzah! And then we are in summer. That's a nine on that one. Thirteen is covered up. No stone for today. And I have fifteen for that one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You had 13? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm going no, first. sorry, I have 15. 15. You're definitely going. Well, I'm going first. Yeah. I got 12. Now, what do I need? I need to save these two stone for the flood. I need to save this gold for my alchemist guild for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> right. And I've got 12. And I've got a stone. Hmm. So why don't I take this eight? There we go. See, my issue is everything I need to build needs stone. But I need to give some stone or I'm going to have a building destroyed. Mm. But at least... If I can get one extra stone, I'm only going to lose points. But I'm really far behind you, so this is troublesome. Yeah. I also need defense. I have a ten. Mm -hmm. Five would give me more defense. I can also do five and ten down here. But if I use a five and a ten, I would really need defense more. So what do you have left over? Six. A four and a two and a six. Or a six. So you're not going to block me if I want 5 and 10 just to get my defense out of the way. But then I'm only going to have one more route to build anyway. Yeah. Tricky stuff. Yep. It's a big monster. How do you know that? Because it's 7 or 9. <laughs> <laughs> 7, 8, or 9. Take the 4. I'll take the 2. I didn't look, but... You're about to. Chances are... Yeah, it's awesome. So first I'm going to take that and get a piece of gold, please. Okay, and then you're going to have gold or wood? Take that. Take a piece of gold, please. I'm going to take one up on the defense track. Actually, it's going to be, well, you get two pieces of gold before I technically go up on the track. Yep. And I get to peek at the scary, scary monster. You already saw it, right? Yep, it's dragons! Spoiler. <laughs> Oh my, that's magical, and I have more email I should have done now. People are emailing us about the scariness of the dragons. Yeah, I don't blame them, because that <laughs> is a scary... So All right, it's so a nine, so am I even going to do anything? One, two, three, four. Plus three, 
Okay. Yeah, so now we need to build, right? Um, yes, now we are building. I am building. I'm I have spend. to save my stone because I can't afford for my wizard skill to die in a flood. Yep. So um, I'm not building, but I do get one of these tokens. So do I. So do you. I have built a statue for three points, please. One, two, three. And it's all about the points. And so... if I roll the same number on all my dice on this final season, I get to re-roll one of them. How exciting. Yeah. Well, it would be good if like you had all ones or something. Yeah. I just did it because it was points. It was a lot of points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, points. Okay. So now the least amount of buildings. That would be you. Probably, yeah. Okay. I still have only nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right. Okay. Which means we are now in autumn. And I don't have less than two defense, so this is not going to come into play. Mm. Uh, first roll. Is Blue. this at the beginning of autumn? At the end of autumn? Yeah. Four. Fourteen is out. That is terrible, terrible, terrible. I got a terrible roll. I got nine. I got an eight. So I rolled a one, which gives me a point. And because I rolled nine or less, I get plus one on that. Because of my griffins. Mm-hmm. Which I think actually works out perfectly for me. <laughs> Aren't you lucky? Three. Nine. Six, eight. Seven, eight. Gold. Nice. All right. So four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight. What do I want to do now? Probably want to spend on points if possible. Yeah. If possible. Oh, nice. I'll take a six. I want to save that. Um, I had something in my head that I thought, oh yeah, I'm just going to do that. Now what was it? It just went into the aether. Sorry, I probably started no, talking. No, 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 I got, <laughs> no, okay. So I think I'm going to try to build that. So I have eight or nine or a three and a six and I can't do a six. I don't want a three. It's going to have to be the nine so that I can get some more stone. Okay. And I'll take the three. Okay. And one. So, I get a point. One point for Justin. Get a piece of wood. Wood for Justin. Which I then change for a piece of gold and stone. Gold my and six. stone from your six. And then this goes away. And yep. then I get to choose the one with the stone. So it's stone and wood. Nice. And that's it. We build for we the last build time. buildings. I am going to build two and one and one. Which makes me have to lose a point. But I'm building the military academy because it will gain me three points. Nice. What does that do? That's the one in winter, roll a die. If it's bigger than the king's reinforcements die result, you get your die numbers of reinforcements instead. Cool. So these are considered the king's reinforcements, right? Yeah, and instead of the king's reinforcement die, it's you choose your token and then you roll the die and see if it's greater than. Okay. Um, so now we have to do that. I have built the chapel, oh, so I get five points. Wow, I don't think we have to end the game. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Nice. And at the beginning of every productive season, if the total of my dice is seven or less, I get to re-roll all of them, which will never happen because <laughs> mm -hmm. there's no more productive seasons. Right. But I went for points. So now here, right? Yep. Trade in two goods for one military. You oh, can trade no, in one. We, we have to do that. That. All oh, right. At the end of autumn. That's right. Yes. So I lose a point. And I have two, so I get. I lose nothing. So now I'm gonna trade in everything I have. You lose two points. Oh, I thought it was one point. Oh well. Dun dun dun. I get three because I had two wood and a, yeah. There you go. All right, so.
flood is over. We survived it. You traded in for troops. You're all the way up to six. Yowzers. Uh, which means we go to uh, eight. We choose our token. We reveal a monster. And they are dragons. They are dragons. Level nine. Minus five points if you lose. Plus three if you succeed. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I got two. I have three. So I have to roll a white die. Yep. And see if I can get higher than a three. Yeah. Because of my military academy. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So I got a five. So what do you got total? You got uh, one, two, three, four, ten, fifteen. Yeah, you definitely won. <laughs> so give yourself three points. <laughs> one, two, three. And I've got um all right, my gold. Technically, I was supposed to do this before the monster was revealed. Oh, to I get forgot, something else. But I had it planned to get plus three for my alchemist guild. Well, I know because you said I have to save yeah. my gold for my alchemist guild. Yeah. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I get three points. Actually, sorry, I get six points. Because you beat it. Um, but when I win a battle, I gain twice the awards. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I thought if I beat him more than you, you wouldn't get it. No. Now, I think most of our battles, we've been tied. Yes. If you win the battle and you win with the most, you also get a point, which we forgot to do, but I think maybe that's only happened once. We were mostly tied the yeah. entire time. But you get yourself a point because you had the most... Um, and then, at the very end of the game, uh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, let me just double check. I don't think there's any end of game scoring. No, that makes sense. So I consult the book just to double check and make sure there weren't any end of game scoring things we were missing, and there's not. The so, end. whoever has the most points wins. If there's a tie, it's whoever has the most uh, goods, and if there's still a tie, it's whoever has the most buildings. I wish I could have at least got to 39, like... 49 points! Woo! Way to go. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just not really good at planning ahead. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know it, what it is about the dice and utilizing them to their best ability. I have an issue with that. Well, there's, there's a real um, tight strictness to the amount of resources you can possibly get mm -hmm. in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Which I think they did on purpose, but... Yeah. Oh, right. There is end game scoring. I had four points left. Well, so I did you. There we go. Left. So. The end. Justin won. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> and now we're going to review it. I just. I didn't dun. use my politician one time. He was the worst one. I could, like <laughs> a five is defense. So the only time you would do that is if you're really good in defense stuff and you want some stuff instead. Yep. Excuse me. Five could give me that, or a ten could give me that. Oh, well, that's cool. But this one's cool too. At the end of every year, receive a victory point if at least one opponent has more points than you and one extra if no opponent is less than me. So if you're ahead of me, I get two points. That seems dumb. Okay. It would make sense if there was more than just two of us. Okay. <laughs>